Um, they got um, sapiosexuals. Uh, I don't know what you call it when you get turned on by production a, sexual. Yeah, production sexual. Uh, she gets turned like, on by production and lighting, and, lighting. And, and cameras and lenses and stuff like that. I don't know what you call that. Cinema, cinema sexual. She's a cinema sexual. She's a cinema sexual. So, oh. hey, fellas out there, if you got high end equipment, it turns her on. I just, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I'm present for your ministry. I see that. I yeah, see that. I thought that was very creative. Yeah. So, uh, how you, you lost this during the pandemic? Don't make me, don't get struck by lightning, sir. I, I just rebuke that joke in the name. So you lost this during the pandemic, <laughs> and uh, you know, you know, we really created something like that that would be hot. People are like, I'm gonna go to Eden, y'all. But it would be. Give it up for Yancey, y'all. I need to learn this. So you, so you can program like your theme song in there. Welcome to the Dear Future Wifey Podcast. I'm your host, the Star Whitfield, and I, I am so excited to have you. This, this is some like, this looks like a filter. That's how good that light is. Exactly. Wow. You know what was bugging me, and I won't say any names, but one of your guests kept doing this. Oh, yes. I was so triggered the whole episode, and I'm like, touch it one more time. But you can actually hear in the mics or the ears. So I was like, how did that person not realize? They just don't listen. They just wasn't That listening. stuff drives me nuts. When I totally. did my podcast, we had someone who would always bang, and he had um, or ne bracelets, bracelets on and stuff. And I'm like, please take Pay them attention, off. yes. Okay. What are you about to say? So this is my fantabulous friend, Latez. Hola. He is amazingly talented. Do you remember that voice when I left you? And I was like, almost having a heart attack. Why? Because you were watching the video? Yeah, and I saw your lighting for the first time. You're yeah, she, she, she's, um, they got um, sapiosexuals. Uh, I don't know what you call it when you get turned on by Production a, sexual? Yeah, production sexual. Uh, she gets turned like, on by production and lighting, and, lighting. And, and cameras and lenses and stuff like that. I don't know what you call that. Cinema, cinema sexual. She's a cinema sexual. She's a cinema sexual. So, oh. hey, fellas out there, if you got high-end equipment, it turns her on. We might have to ask our my girl to leave at this point. I mean, yeah, all yeah, this equipment this light, this light right here is doing something to it. And the sound. The sound yeah. is intense. Yes, There's yes. no reverberation. Make it do what it do. So this is, this is kind of surreal, you know, when you're watching it and then you're on the set. It's just... Wood wall. And awesome. I painted that wall. I painted it a dark gray and then it was so dark that I went back and put white highlights in it. Cause I'm, you know, I used to be in art. I stuff. didn't think this was actually wood wall. Yeah, oh, it's yeah, wood wall. <laughs> it just looks so good though with the different lights bouncing off of it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. I, when I when I launched this podcast, I kept texting, uh, testing the light out. I put a light up, put it in a certain direction, and if I put a grid on this light, the light mm -hmm. will only fall here. Which when I do when I do Jessica's episodes or podcast, I'm gonna put a grid on it where this won't be lit up at all. Wow. And it just looks black. Liz and I here are in the good city of Dallas, Texas, as though there's any other Dallas. And <laughs> we are on the set of Dear Future Wifey. Mm. This footage may or may not hit the internet streets ever, mm -hmm. but it sure as hell is fun recording it. Yes. 
Anything you'd like to add? Mm. Yeah, that's all you need. <laughs> See anything great, friend? They don't have them. Oh, what a disappointment. <laughs> Get your makeup done. And I think we're actually even early for call time, so I'm excited. She didn't take forever. And she was early. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> I definitely show up on time. I think we are ready to go. Yay! Thank you so much. Absolutely. My pleasure. Really appreciate it. Anytime you're here, I'm happy to help. Ooh. All right, I gotta check it out. Super excited. <laughs> Introduction. We're going to start from my right to left. So we go Yancey, Elsa, uh, and then Greg, and then I will come in. And then the topic, or should I say, uh, not the topic, the title of this is what he <laughs> said and what she heard.
So Liz, how do you feel? Um, <clears throat> okay, we are at In and Out. Mm -hmm. It's her first time. Are you nervous? I'm a little bit nervous. It's gonna be easy. It's not gonna be painful at all. Okay. okay. A lot of people, it's been their first time, and don't be embarrassed that you're the age that you are, and this is your first time. <laughs> A lot of people have waited till their adulthood. All my life, yeah. just to try in and just out. Just to try in and out. You know, it's just something about it. I just kept passing it up because mm -hmm. I wasn't really sure. Mm -hmm. You hadn't tried it before, right? And you know, the whole something different. You didn't know what you to know, expect, right? I thought it was like another. I know other chain, yeah. nasty foods. But since I've been educated, I just thought that it's just time to just do the darn thing. It's right there. It's right You're there. this close to your experience. This close to changing my entire life. Mm. These are mm. french fries that have never been frozen. Mm. Okay? Mm. Mm -hmm. So just a few minutes ago, they were a whole potato, and then they're going to be in your mouth yes. as a fry. As a fry. <laughs> right. That's All right, so stay tuned. She's about to experience the real deal. The real deal. Okay. I feel like I so, should, like, frame. What are you holding in your hand? The official receipt. Official receipt. It's her fir first purchase. I her feel like first I should frame it. Purchase at In-N-Out. Maybe, like... That means right we're that much closer to it going down. Are you ready? I'm so It's ready. happening. It's, it's happening, happening now. Here it comes. Oh. Uh, yeah. I guess I should ask him if he's okay to be on YouTube. It's her first time. Sorry. We got we to gotta capture this moment. <laughs> sorry? It's her first time here. We got to capture the moment. Don't mind us. As long as you don't post it, it's okay. Oh, we were going to go on YouTube. You're about to go viral. That's not okay. Oh, okay. Well, we'll just have to blur everything. Please. Okay. Sounds good. That wasn't the normal in and out experience that I'm used to. Yeah, okay. I don't know how I feel about Bye. that. Oh. So what happens if you're with your friend? Do they tell you to put your phone away? I don't know how I feel about that. Does mean him? Because yeah. the other girl didn't have a problem. At all. But I think she said, we can't have that. I don't feel like he said, I prefer not that. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, did you get a shake? I did. Yes. Because I was going to say, you have Wasn't to have a shake. Chocolate? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You have to have the first bag. First, first bag. bag. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. This is your last time seeing Liz. As an in and out virgin, when we come back, it's it's gonna have happened. Bust it wide open. Yeah, <laughs> them jaws. All right, so first experience with in and out. All right, this is the cheeseburger. You know how many hours it's right? Mm -hmm. Now, granted, it's not you know crazy hot because we need to do the whole drive home. Like a little mayo on there, like a. I think it's like a house dressing. Okay. Yeah. Are we ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can get to the meat? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Fresh ingredients. Fresh ingredients. Fresh ingredients. Okay, now get her. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> it's yummy. It is good. You didn't really get a lot of the sauce, so I was going to say, you probably should nibble. Mm -hmm. nibble a little part. She's like, no, it's good. It's really yummy. And then when you have like, they say animal style, it's when they, you would just like pile on the topping. Mm -hmm. So they have what's called like a secret menu, which made everyone inside it, but it's really not secret because a lot of people know that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Well, they like the fries are lacking. You know what? They like lacking. They're very different. I'm actually not a huge french fry fan from them. Mm -hmm. But people go to a french fry person in general. Mm. I just think your french fries would be on point. Yeah, people love them. You either love them or you hate them. There's really no in between within now because it's yeah. a very specific taste. Yeah. They're like, so and they're not soft. very crispy. Yeah. yeah. Yours, there shouldn't be that length though. Mm. So they're not doing us too much justice. No, no, on the fries. I try to shake. That one was hella lint. I'm gonna shake it pretty good. Real nice thick, right? Thick, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. thick. yes. You know, I know about that thick thick. Mm -hmm. Oh, she thin